Welcome back to The Exchange, and here are some of your movers at this hour. It's a sell-off edition. Spirit Airlines is falling after reporting earnings. While the company's results were in line, the outlook was softer than expected, those shares down nearly 10 percent. And Freeport McMoran deep in the red as well after posting weaker than expected profit. They did reaffirm full year guidance. The shares are down only about 9 percent. And semiconductor company Xilinx is sinking despite beating estimates. Investors are concerned about higher costs and margin pressure. More than a 16 percent drop now, although they've been one of the years. It's helping to fuel those gains. The ETF that tracks them up for a fourth straight day and sitting at record levels. Teradyne, analog devices and Xilinx leading the way, but a number of names in the group still struggling well off their recent highs. Should you buy them ahead of their earnings? Find out next. Thank you, Scott. Welcome to The Exchange, everybody. I'm Kelly Evans, and here's what's happening as the second half of the trading session gets underway. One and cut. Has the market changed its mind about what the Fed may do next? And what if there isn't a recession coming? Also, tuning in. It turns out the death of football and peak sports may have been greatly exaggerated, and the doors may be closing for good on an American icon. After 126 years, Sears may shudder. We have the fallout and how we got here. But we begin with these markets and the Nasdaq of bellwether today. Dom Chu with the numbers. What you got, Dom? All right, so Kelly, we are 134 points higher on the Dow Jones Industrial. Now, I want to focus specifically on technology, which is sitting near its own record high set right now. So if you look at technology intraday, up by about a half a percent, as you can see here. The big percentage gainers so far, you've got the likes of Xerox, also Seagate, and then eBay as well. So those all up by 2%. And then take a look at Apple. We got to look here, which hit another record intraday high today. It's now just worth around $950 billion. Certainly a stock to watch as it moves towards $1 trillion, guys. Back over to you.